February 6th, 2023, Saginaw Bay, 14 people will never, ever forget this day. Let me, let me show you why, if you don't know what happened on February 6th. The U.S. Coast Guard conducting a large-scale rescue on the Saginaw Bay Monday night. Several people were stuck on an ice floe near Fish Point off Thomas Road in Tuscola County. The Detroit Sector Coast Guard saying just before 9 p.m., Detroit, Saginaw River, and Traverse City Coast Guard units all got involved. 14 people total were rescued and were checked for any issues. The Coast Guard says a Huron County airboat saved two people. About eight more were lifted out of the water by helicopters. Another helicopter conducted an extended search around the area just to make sure no one was left behind. A reminder, with some of these warm, warmer temps this week, no ice is safe ice. It is being recommended to stay off the ice going forward. So, I know I might be on a little bit of a soapbox, but I cannot stress the importance of of safety when you're ice fishing. I'm so glad that those 14 people are okay. Big shout out to all the men and women of the US Coast Guard and all these first responders, EMS, police, fire that rescued those people, the helicopter pilots, like that's why they do what they do. But we cannot overlook the fact that these can situations can be avoided, right? It's, it's no one's fault, right? Mother Nature does what Mother Nature wants to do. And unfortunately, this winter in Michigan, central lower Michigan, the weather has been crazy warm and crazy cold and crazy warm and crazy cold. And it's really got a lot of us anxious to get out on the ice. But I cannot stress the importance of ice fishing safety. I don't know how much more I'm going to talk about it or I'm going to continue to talk about it. But we as an industry, we need to talk about this more and make sure that people are prepared and if they understand what happens when that ice melts or when the wind blows. Because Saginaw Bay, right, this area right here, any sort of south or southeast wind is going to push that ice out. So when you've got these warmer water temperatures or warmer air temperatures, you've got water sitting on top. If you've got current in the air, you've got water underneath that's moving. So it's kind of melting the ice on both sides, especially like in the Saginaw River. And the Outdoor Conquest, I'll actually tag one of his videos in this because he had a great uh, ice report from the day before this happened. Um, and again, it's very unfortunate. I'm glad all 14 people are safe, but it, it could have been avoided. Um, and, and I just, I hope that, that this situation is going to shed some light on the importance of ice fishing safety. And I'm going to tag videos throughout this, this video of the, fi the fishing videos that I've made, but make sure you have a throw rope with you at all times. If you go on a big body of water, you're going on the bay, Lake St. Clair, I don't care where you're at, if you're going on a big body of water, or if you're just going on any body of water in general, in, thin, or in the early season or late season, have a throw rope, okay? Must have. Ice spikes, you have to have ice spikes with you at all time. I cannot stress the importance of having some sort of ice pick or ice spikes to get you out of the ice. Last but not least, take a life jacket or a floating suit, something to keep you afloat, okay? I have a floating suit, but there's been times where I've worn my, my life jacket because I didn't have a floating suit. Yes, it looks stupid while you're wearing it, but who cares, right? It's going to save your life. So, again, big shout out to the men and women of the U.S. Coast Guard, the first responders, EMS, police, fire departments. Um, and I'm so, so glad that all 14 of those people made it off that ice safe because it could have been a whole lot worse. So please stay off the ice. If you're wanting to go to Saginaw Bay, stay off the ice. It's not safe. Saginaw River is not safe. I heard Lake St. Clair ice blew out today. So just, just I, I want to fish just as bad as the next person. Don't get me wrong, but it's not worth it. If you look at some of the comments that people are posting on social media and Facebook, you know, they're saying it's not worth it. And it, it, it's not, right? If the ice is questionable, just just wait or just don't go. I mean, if you can't, I don't, I don't know. This, this video is hard. It, it really is because I, I, I try to stress safety as much as possible. I know I don't have a big reach, right? I don't have a massive channel. Hopefully with your guys' support, we can kind of like get this video out here so more and more people understand it. I'll, again, I'll share links to all my videos where my safe, I'll talk about all my safety stuff throughout this video. But guys, please just take a step back and just 
look to make sure the conditions are okay, talk to some local people. If it's questionable, don't go. Hands down, if the ice is questionable, just don't go. It's just that simple. So sorry, not sorry if I'm on a little bit of a soapbox and if I've been on a soapbox this season with all the ice safety videos that I've made, but that's why I make them because every year that stuff happens, right? People get stuck in those ice floats, someone falls in the water. So I hope that with the equipment that I've told you guys to have with you at all times, it could really save your life. So thanks for all the support. Again, so glad that everybody made it off the ice safe. Big shout out to the first responders. I'm gonna to continue to talk about ice fishing safety through the rest of this season. And then I'll be talking about through the rest, you know, I'm just gonna to continue to talk about it. I know it's not cool. I know it's not trendy. I know these videos don't get a lot of views. I don't care. But if this equipment and having this conversation with you can save one life, it's worth it. So thanks for all the support. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.